welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog today is wednesday and i look a bit odd today because i'm normal on top and then i've got my leggings on the bottom also the bedroom is an absolute mess because we're having some shelves pop in g's office today so we had to clear some stuff this is this is my look basically i have a, i can't remember if it's yoga or pilates but i've got a yoga event this morning with skin and me and also it's being led by grace beverly and i'm so excited i'm wearing my tala leggings especially my tala workout gear but then after that i am meeting a follower of mine abigail who is the one who interviewed me a couple of weeks back for her not dissertation but journalism degree she's chosen me to do an interview with and i really wanted to help her out today she's taking a picture of me for the interview which i think she's going to send me a copy of as well which is so exciting the interview is all about fashion online and the content that i make Make petite fashion and sustainability a little bit as well a lot of talking about charity shopping and thrift shopping in london which has been really fun to talk about so yeah i'm meeting her for her to take a picture of me for the article and i really said yes to this because i remember when i was at uni doing my photography degree i had to like one of our projects one term was to create a magazine i guess a bit similarly to what she's doing now i interviewed one of my favorite photographers at the time and the fact that this photographer was so helpful and willing to be interviewed by me made my like year so i really wanted to do the same for someone now that i'm in a kind of similar similar place with a following so yeah i'm gonna meet her after the event and um that's why i've got this on i'm gonna put some trousers on as well a bit later but yeah i need to pack up my bag and actually go now because i'm gonna be late <laughs> But it smells so good. event and i've just been working on the sofa for much of the afternoon i'm just so i'm just feeling so shockingly low again at the moment i don't know what is going on with me but the last week my brain just has not been like i haven't been maybe a little bit depressed maybe it's been really weird i've kind of just felt not very present and like a bit in my own head and finding it quite difficult to like find the joy in things I'm just feeling sad like I've just been feeling sad and it is probably that time of the year because it shouldn't be my hormones at the moment so I'm not really sure what's going on but I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because I literally have a day at home all day just working and I feel like this the start of this week has been super busy I just need a day to like get my get my shit together but the most exciting thing that has happened this week is that we've had our cabinets built in our living room and I am so excited about this i'm actually going to finish up work now and maybe i mean i want to chill but i also really want to prime these cabinets so we can paint them the same color as the walls so let me show you in fact first i'll put in a, pic a clip here of what this area looked like before this is what we're working with now we have the most amazing cupboards made i'm just so happy with these so they're obviously like plain at the moment i need to prime and paint them but we found these really cool handles from a website called i think it's called patch i don't know if you can see the texture 
but they're like spiraled and textured and really kind of tactile and the cupboards are so cool i'm just so excited about all this storage and then the carpenter also has unscrewed all of our shelves because we want to paint these as well so that's kind of the job i've got he's recommended a gray primer undercoat which i and i found this i just bought it on amazon i'll leave a link to that down below and also some mini gloss rollers he said was the best so i think i'm gonna do a little layer of primer on these cabinets because i just really want to paint them now and like get these shelves done so we can start styling this is going to be the start of the Hey guys, three updates for you today. First is that I'm getting a cold, <laughs> so I'm not feeling my absolute best. Um, I am definitely gonna be trying to take it easy over the next couple of days, just to make sure I don't like completely burn myself out. I'm not feeling great. <laughs> came on yesterday, just feel super achy. And at first I thought um, it was because of that Pilates class I did, but then like my actual bones and my actual like organs started hurting <laughs> and i was like okay this is a bit more than just a strong workout um my second update is that i don't think i've actually mentioned this on these vlogs yet but i'm currently knitting my first like sweater vest like a sleeveless sweater and i've had to like restart it four four times because i kept making mistakes but i'm currently like on road now to like a jumper like it actually kind of looks like a jumper and i'm so excited about it i am doing it's currently like a one by one rib knit stitch rib stitch and let me show you because this is such a beautiful stitch so this is like the hem of my jumper and then i'm going to go into the body of the jumper in a little bit um but i don't know if you can see but this stitching is so cool um it's kind of like all bunched up at the moment on this needle but when it's like on the actual jumper you can like pull it and it's got this really amazing like rib stitching down it which has been so fun to do what's wrong there that looks like a bit of a mistake there so fun to do but also oh my god so difficult and um, but i'm finally getting the hang of it now and then the third update is that we finally painted like primed and finished painting our cabinets and shelves and i'm just so chuffed so let me give you a little look i'll put a before in here as well so painted it the same color as the walls and we've also primed and painted all the shelves as well. I'm just so chuffed with this. I couldn't be happier. We actually need to still um, just, we were just oh, screw these shelves back down and then we can start styling and inside they are also painted. I'm just so happy. I couldn't couldn't be more chuffed with how these have turned out and this fireplace has been annoying me since my friend came around and said that there's like a bit too many colors going on in terms of everything's a little bit mismatched in terms of the cabinets and then the, sh the wooden shelves and then the brick and then the gold mirror and then the silver details on this fireplace it was all just a little bit too much on the eye so that is why we painted the shelves the same color as the walls so we'll have the kind of gray the gold the brick and then the black fireplace and i've actually bought some like heat resistant um matte black paint for the cast iron fireplace because i just think this would look so much better if it was just all black so i'll be painting kind of over this silver detail which like this is just a box standard i think you can get it at any kind of fireplace shop I doubt it was very expensive because they didn't spend much on the kind of 
doing certain parts of the house up in here style the shelves tomorrow as well which i'm so looking forward to and then yeah we'll pretty much be done in here then we need to finish the gallery wall oh also we ended up painting the door in here um the same color as the walls and it is so much better it was like a proper sight for sore eyes before because the door just was so white and we don't actually even use this door so it kind of just makes the whole room feel a whole lot bigger which is so exciting so yeah that is the improvements so far so today my mummy's coming around she's coming around to help me declutter my office and i'm not sure if i'm going to vlog this for this particular vlog or a separate separate decluttering video that i've been in the process of filming whilst we've been sorting everything part of me thinks it's going to be kind of long so i will i think i'd actually put it in that decluttering video which will be coming soon if you are up for some like spring cleaning inspiration in the next month or so Whee! so you excited to see your grandma oh we're stuck your paws stuck okay you can come you can come through now yeah oh i like the door doors yeah better. doors doors better yeah, isn't doors it better. Yeah. Oh. 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 They're nice, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> Shelves back on. Oh. We missed a bit of paint in that cupboard. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah. But making a difference will make a difference. Are you still filming? Get rid of this pot I made. I'll have it. No, you've got too much stuff. No, I'll have it. You made it. Well, um, tell me, Kate, how long have you had that? This up I here? Know, no, probably not that long. Oh, I look really stupid. <laughs> got my cat ears on. <laughs> Let me take those off. Saturday morning, we are styling our shelves. I am so excited. So basically, the plan of action is to get everything that we love and the, we want to display on the shelves on this table here so that we can kind of play around and rearrange and see what works well. I've just been putting stuff here for the time being. So I am going to paint this fireplace. Um, I'm just actually gonna give it a quick clean and then I can paint it in this heat, heat resistant black paint matte finish. I can link this down below. Guys, we are cracking up because we are, we've decided to declutter some of Maurice's toys, which he isn't even here for. I don't know what he's doing. We're, <laughs> we found his first brush and we just looked at it and we were like, oh, like he's going, like he's gone off to uni and we're like sad parents. So we just got to finish decluttering. Licky licks, he loves those. Loves these. Oh, little bat wings. They can go. Another pair of bat wings, they can go. He does like these feathery things. That can go. Oh, you found the box of stuff we're keeping, my wings. <laughs> He's found the stuff we're keeping. Where's his, where's his favorite, what toy that? What's this? What's this? Is it your favorite one? Oh, keep that out. Oh my God, why is there a cockroach? <laughs> 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 There's a cock ring in here. I've never used that, that's rank. Maurice. Maurice, <laughs> why have doing? you got a cock ring in your drawer? Catnip toy. He doesn't really like catnip, does he? Oh, he does He does like this one. Look, look at him. Maurice, what's this? Whoa, oh my god. <laughs> catnip time. Babe, he's in his drawer. <laughs> Oh, 
whoa it is so sunny today what a beautiful day i am sat at my desk it's a monday morning monday is like my editing day now that this room is kind of half tidy it feels so nice I've got my lamp on i'm actually utilizing my coaster i'm like one of those people who i'm just not very good at setting a mood or like making the most of what i've got so i said to my mum my new like my new thing the new me is going to be the person that switches the lamp on when she's at her desk that puts her drink on her coaster and that lights a candle when she's working like just those little things will really boost my mood i know i know it will but i never used to do stuff like that so there are three things that i've started doing which are so simple and like easy to do but make such a difference and yeah it feels great um i just oh my god it's so sorry i don't know put you can you even see me oh my god i'm gonna have to shut this window i don't know if you guys have seen my um vlog from spitalfields it's a reel on instagram but in there i showed that i found the most beautiful cardigan in a shop it was called it's in a shop called percy langley and it's a cardigan from a brand called herdwear or herd it was just the most beautiful piece of knit knitwear i'd ever seen a nice big chunky white cream cardigan with little bows instead of buttons and i fell in love with this cardigan until i saw the price tag and it was like over 400 pounds <laughs> i was like oh my god obviously you're paying for such good quality that cardigan was so soft it would just last a lifetime like just a, a classic thing to have in your wardrobe but i can't afford 400 pounds on one piece of clothing so i actually made and i feel a bit guilty about this but i actually made my first asos asos purchase in quite a few months um i really haven't done any shopping this year for clothes and it feels so good like i don't even miss shopping and browsing asos and mango i like i don't even miss it I definitely cut down so much on my clothing purchases and i think a big part of that is because over the past couple of years invested in some just staple pieces in my wardrobe so now everything goes together and i really don't feel like i'm missing anything it's a fantastic feeling to like not want stuff saying that i have actually started a list on my like notes app on my phone of things that i really want for my wardrobe and at the moment there's only two things on there i'll read it out wardrobe i think it's called wardrobe wants yeah wardrobe wants oh okay there's five things on there now um i want an oversized black blazer that's something that's definitely missing from my wardrobe i have got a blazer but it's very tight and fitted i just like an oversized one to just chuck on top that isn't so tight and fitted and that i could potentially wear a jumper underneath i'd like the same blazer um as this one this gray one which is from a rag called fourth and reckless i wear this all the time the shape of it is great and i just really like this exact same blazer in black i've added onto my want list fourth and reckless black blazer i want a black coat like a long black coat basically i want my uniqlo brown coat in black for next winter i want i've got here a coach cherry hobo bag and that is because it looks really spacious and roomy and a bit more sophisticated than my Uniqlo kind of crossbody viral bag, but still fits just as much stuff in. But I don't want to spend like £300 on it, so I'm hoping I can get that second hand for a bit cheaper. Um, I've got pearl drop earrings because I'd really like a classic pair of gold hoops with a little pearl on them. That's something I've wanted for ages. And also on there, I've got a bow cardigan. And basically with this list, I'll write something down on it and I'll just type that into my vintage search and every couple of days I'll just check to see if anyone has uploaded any of, any of those items and it's worked really well for me so far in terms of helping stop that impulse um, purchase as soon as I want something and actually sitting on the idea and searching for it second hand so there's not so much kind of waste going around and yeah this system for me has really really helped um I actually anyway I've gone on a right tangent what I wanted to say was <laughs> When I posted that bow cardigan on Instagram, so many of you sent me a dupe from Miss Selfridge and a stupid amount of you sent me a link to it. And so I thought I'd try it out for you guys. And as I said, I do feel a bit guilty about making this purchase from ASOS being as I haven't in such a long time, like I haven't bought any fast fashion in ages. But I really wanted to try this cardigan and let you know if it's any good. So I thought we'd open it now. Also, this is a huge thing for me as well because in the past, whenever I've, purchase something from like an online retailer like asos mango zara and um, in order to make the 
purchase worth it feel worth it i add loads of stuff into my basket because i'm like well i might as well just get loads of bits whilst i'm here to save on loads of different shipping and delivery costs if you know what i mean that is what i've done for so many years and i did i did look at asos to see if there was anything else i wanted but there really wasn't so i think this is the first time i've ever actually made a purchase for just one item but i love that because now I'm I'm not just purchasing for the sake of it, I'm purchasing intentionally for things I actually want and need for my wardrobe. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. It's, I mean, this is gonna be nowhere near as beautiful as the real thing, but it is very close, let's try it on. Okay, I haven't currently got a top on under it, but I would wear a little vest or t-shirt under this, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> It's not as thick and chunky and it's a slightly different um, knit pattern, kind of like a little diamond shaped knit pattern, but I really like this. I'm also glad it's kind of cropped, it's not too long, which is nice, and that it's kind of baggy. I think I got a size 8, 8 to 10, it was like a small. I did want it to be a little bit baggier and I'm glad because it is, um, yeah. I really like this so thank you to everyone who sent me a link to this i can vouch that it is very nice and i will get a lot of wear out of this